From H-1B to Marriage Green Card, How to Change Your Status You're already an H-1B holder, but you fell in love and married an American or green card holder in the United States. What's next? You can apply for a marriage-based green card. A green card gives you a pathway to U.S. citizenship and allows you to stay in the U.S. How to switch from H-1B to a marriage green card The H-1B visa is a dual intent visa, which means that folks who have it come and work in the United States while they're seeking permanent residence. The H-1B green card processing time varies a lot based on whether you're married to a U.S. citizen or a green card holder. Two paths to a green card. There are two ways to switch from an H-1B visa to a marriage green card. The right path for you depends on whether you're married to a U.S. citizen or a green card holder. Here's how they work. Path one. If you're married to a U.S. citizen, you have a straightforward route to a marriage green card. You file Form I-130, which establishes your relationship and green card application Form I-485. Want to reduce the time it takes to go from H-1B to green card? If you already have your H-1B, you can go through a process called concurrent filing, which allows you to file the family sponsorship form and the green card application at the same time. Important, once you filed Form I-485, you need to obtain a travel permit before taking any trips outside of the United States. If you travel without a permit, the U.S. government assumes you have abandoned your green card application and will have to start all over again. Another note, don't forget to get a work permit. This is a lengthy application process, and as such, you'll want to apply for a work permit, or EAD at the same time as you file other paperwork. It takes about 150 days to get the work permit, though times may vary. This is important because if your H-1B expires while your green card is pending and you don't already have a work permit, you have to stop working until you receive authorization again. Path two, if you're married to a green card holder. This is a more complicated process with longer wait times than applicants married to U.S. citizens. Like spouses of citizens, H-1B holders married to green card holders need to file Form I-130 and green card application from I-485. That said, spouses of green card holders can't leverage the concurrent filing process to submit all of their paperwork at once. Instead, you have to file the family sponsorship form, then wait to receive a visa number. It's only after you get your visa number you can submit your green card application. Most H-1B holders have to wait about two years after filing the family sponsorship form before they can continue the process and file their green card application. Like Path 1, after you filed Form I-485, you should obtain a travel permit before taking any trips outside the United States. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Boundless on YouTube. Thanks for watching.